Let's continue our program with the Seated Golf series. In my interpretation, it's a combination of a hip sway and a trunk twist driven by the breath. Of course, you have to imagine that you're looking at a golf ball, swinging a club, and all the other complexities of playing golf. I'm breaking it down for fun and good sport. One more. Good. I'll stand to demonstrate some of the poses using the chair as a prop. The first pose is hip sway. This is part of my physical therapy rehabilitation. I think it's really fun. Check it out with the chair. Stand with the chair adjacent to you so the arm can rest. You can use a countertop too. You're standing in mountain as I am, nice and tall. One hip is going to move to one side, then we'll alternate. The other hip goes to the other side. The shoulders stay level. This is pretty funny in a mirror. Try it. Inhale, bring one hip to one side, exhale, come back to neutral, inhale, bring the hip to the other side, bring it back to neutral. Now the fun is keeping the shoulders level. Lingering at the end point and really drawing the supporting legs foot down, and breathing. That's standing. That's the easy way. Seated can be more challenging. There's a lot of movement down here, or at least an intent. Get back to mountain. Inhale, bring the hip up to the elbow. Exhale, bring it down. Try not to tip over. Inhale, same side. Keep the balancing side relaxed but engaged. One more. Rest for a moment. Switch sides. The breath drives the lift, the exhale, the release. Bring it up, bring it down. One more. Beautiful. That was half a pendulum. The swing is a whole pendulum. I'll stand and demonstrate. I'm going to inhale and draw back to this side. Remember that one, two, three. Exhaling, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And return is ten. I'll do it without the chair. Inhaling, exhaling, and return. That makes ten. Let's play with the timing. Inhaling. Two, three, start with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more this way. Hold the chair if you need to. Play with it while seated, if you're seated. Last one. Ah. 
reverse. If you're going to be standing, consider shifting the chair too. And play with this side. Bring it back. Bring it across. Maybe different from side to side. Keep a rhythm. Keep a steady shoulder. Counting. Breathing. Moving. Resting. One more. Good. That's the hip swing. Trunk twist. Well, the trunk can be considered this zone. On the floor, one might move the lower zone because the knees are shifting. On the chair, the legs are static and the upper body is moving. The difference here is that this is not a neck twist. Consider that the head will only turn about 45 degrees, maybe a little more, maybe to the side wall. If one is looking behind themselves, you're not seeing the ball, because the ball is up here. So we'll play with that. Let the arms dangle. Sit up in mountain. Take the right hand and place it on the left thigh. I'll be your mirror image. If this shoulder is coming all the way around, for whatever reason, put it on the inner right thigh. Right arm, your right arm, your right thigh. Drop the elbow onto the ribs. Either way, I'd like this shoulder to be square across, up in the saddle. With the inhale, one is going to grab the thigh gently, push the tail back, and then on the exhale, turning in the direction opposite of where this hand is going to pull. And returning. Continue. Several on the same side. Up in the saddle, drop the shoulder, Smile. Exhale. The belly comes in. That's what makes the room for the rotation. And return. If it's on this side, great. Come on up. Draw it down. Lead with the other shoulder and shoulder blade. Open up the heart. I have plates in my neck, so my head's not going to twist. One more. And rest, shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Check, because each shoulder may have its own range of motion. Your chest can be rotated. Your shoulders can have their own restrictions as well as your neck. So let's see. Can this shoulder blade sink? Can the head stay nice and level? Great. Exhale, let it down. Check here. Notice how this can drop back even more and tuck back. Ready? Draw it back, exhaling, belly to the spine. Each of us can have our own range of motion left and right, trust me. Drop it down. Let the heart and the head be in line. Two more. Theoretically in golf, the trunk is turning 180 degrees. On the back swing one way and 90 degrees on the follow through. Let's roll it out. Let's shake it out. How to put this together? I'll demonstrate standing. There will be certain rules of golf that I won't be following, but this is yoga and an interpretation. Practicing to keep your body nice and limber and balanced, whether it's golf or any activity. 
We also call this rocking the baby. On the inhale, the hips start to lead, and then the trunk twist starts, but I'm still looking at the ball. Hip sway, trunk twist. Exhaling, four, five, six, seven. Notice this arm is now in line with the foot, and then I'll pick my head up. Eight, nine, finishing the trunk twist, returning at 10. Of course, that's not real time, but it's about building rhythm. Let's continue. Address the ball, mountain pose. I know there's usually a little tail tuck in golf, but let's play with the hip sway, let's play with the trunk twist, let's play with focusing on that ball. Pause, smile, and then release. And finish. That's building some leg strength too. Two more. And rest. One more. And rest. I'll demonstrate the next segment seated. Those that are standing, switch the hands. This one comes up. This one comes down. You'll be looking at your left, I'm sorry, your right foot now. And then we'll continue. Here we'll look at the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Return. Continue. Look at that knee until the trailing elbow comes across. The toes are level in the front. We're in mountain. The hips shift. You may notice them changing position. You may feel front to back movements here. Ready? Inhale. Two, three, smile, exhaling, six, seven, arms crossed, then finish the trunk twist. Ah, let's do one more. Slowly draw it back, and then let the hips lead. Shoulders follow to create that whip, and return. Flip it over. And try one more the other side and notice a difference. I also recommend keeping the elbows close so that we don't throw the baby out of the bathwater. Ready? Draw it back. Look at that knee. Look at that knee. Look at that knee. Exhale. Bring it across. Look at your target. Strike a pose. Get your picture taken. Ah. I look forward to seeing and being with you in other programs and classes.